happy day 16 of Flossmas. Luna and I here to say hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Catterday. Happy Cat Dog Day. Mwah. Today is December 16th is National Chocolate Covered Anything Day. These are obviously uh, U.S. centered stuff. Day of Reconciliation, Barbie and Barney Backlash Day. National Wreaths Across America Day. According um, to National Day Calendar, National Chocolate Covered Anything Day. Chocolate lovers rejoice on National Chocolate Covered Anything Day. December 16th offers the chocolate day you've been waiting for. On this day, dip and drizzle your favorite foods in every kind of chocolate imaginable. Dip and drizzle. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Um, right. I would give more than that, but I just don't have time. Today is a very busy day, so welcome. Welcome, everyone. If you are new here, hi. My name is Rachel. This is a channel about cross-stitch and other fiber arts like knitting and crochet and all that kind of stuff. Um, we are opening Tiny Presents, a.k.a. Advent Calendars. That is my dog, Lulu. Come here. I really, I really don't want her to knock over the lamp. She did that already once this season, so we're not doing that again. Yeah, hi. Um, and I'm going to show you the progress that I made on my, uh, my projects last night. Go to bed. Thank you. So today we have the Fiber Fox UK Day 16 Golden Hour Countdown. Ooh. Another pretty like rusty color. This is called Begonia. Begonia. Very pretty. I know a begonia. She's a very nice lady. Then, I won't forget it this time, Beyond the Smoke from Asylum Fibers. This is their Halloween countdown box, and this is day 16 over here. Will it be another pink? Come on. Oh. It's orange! Finally! Hooray! This is a very vibrant orange. Luna, I need you to go lay down, please. Go to bed. Sit. Sit. Can you, can you hear the attitude in the tappy taps? Get a collie, they said. It'll be fine, they said. I've never seen a collie with so much attitude. So that is our day 16. Wonderful. It's really pastel. Now that I'm looking at it, it is super, super duper pastel. This probably would make a really pretty blanket. If I had um, just a natural skein, maybe, and some mohair. No, maybe not mohair. But I did find a pattern that might look good for this. And if I can find it, I will put it on the screen and I will put details of it. But basically it's just, it's like a mitered square blanket, but um, you just do the, like a triangle of the square, you know, half the square at a diagonal in the color and then the other half in a main color. And I think that would make a really lovely lap blanket. Here is, here is day 10 of So Royal's 12 day countdown. Soft and Subtle Edition. Ooh, that's very pretty. It's okay, it's just tractors. It's Saturday, so there's lots of tractors, sweetie. It's okay. Sorry. That's very pretty, too. All right, I'm gonna pop that. Back in the wrapper. The other one is untwisted and I don't want to get them mixed up. Okay, 
Next up, we have Hannah's Mystery Sal, which I get to open another envelope, and this is another color that I get to do on the cross stitch. You are not boofing at me, are you? Today's color is 3716, which is candy floss pink. Oh boy, is this the big one? ma'am. I think this is going to fill in some elements. Yes, it is. Okay, wonderful. It's not the big one, but it is, it is one of them. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, this is How Far I've Come in Hannah's Mystery Sal. I have completed seven colors. so pretty. This is from my friend Dee Dee, the needle minder. It was a Christmas gift a long time ago. Long time ago. Very cool. Now, one thing that I did notice last night when I was... One thing that I noticed last night when I was stitching is that I did make a mistake. I know that's how I feel about it too. I am one over here and this is where I counted from so all of this is wrong. I'm fudging it. I'm fudging it. I don't care. I'm gonna move all of the stuff that's back here over one. I don't even care. I'm gonna count off of these and not off of this which are very mouthy. Go lay down. Okay, I'll give you my other hand. Um, so the... I'm off now. Um, yeah, I've already said it. I'm gonna count off of the green instead of off of the creature who I have decided to name. This is Axel. This is Axel the Axolotl. And uh, I am so happy that uh, Hannah got me an axolotl pattern. Thank you so much. And this has been so fun. It's been so fun to do a color a day. It has. Um, and I am not really caught up. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there though. Uh, and I think that I will have this finished by the new year. If I, if I can keep up with it. But there's a whole heck of a lot of one shade of pink that's going to happen in the body there. And you can see that Axel now has a mouth. So cute. I don't think that you can see the 310 though. Can you see it? There it is. So yeah, that is Axel. So cute. Now. And today's color, sorry, today's color that I just picked is going to be inside of the gills. And I think around the feet somewhere. She's going to dig into her bed. The other project I worked on <clears throat> is the hat that I started yesterday. And y'all, <laughs> I told you, I could probably have this done this weekend. Uh, this this is it. It's, it actually does stretch quite a lot, so don't worry. Um, it's super simple. It is super simple. I still have quite a bit of yarn left, and it. I, I watched the new Indiana Jones movie last night and knit quite a lot, because you don't really have to pay attention to films like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the the Friday beanie. I don't know why I called it the Friday night beanie. The Friday beanie, which is a free pattern and I have it linked down below in the description if you want to do it for yourself. And I think that's it. That's everything. Um, today is a very busy day, so I must let you go, but I hope that you all have a wonderful day crafting 
and if you're going out this weekend for a little bit of cheer um, please enjoy and uh, I will see you all tomorrow for another update so take care everybody bye